In this episode of Film Stock Reviews, I'm reviewing Season 2, Episode 2 of American Horror Stories, titled Aura. This was a really, really fun episode. It's directed by Max Winkler, the son of Henry Winkler, who played the Fonz in Happy Days. And this episode is written by Manny Cotto. So once Manny Cotto writes an episode, you know it's going to be interesting and really, really well done. He also wrote the first episode of this second season as well, titled Dollhouse. Now, Aura tells the story of Jocelyn, played by Gabrielle Sidibe, who is a phenomenal actress, and she really stands her on her own in this episode. She's married to her husband, Bryce, who's played by Max Greenfield. Now, this episode is based off of a security camera, smart security camera system, Aura, where you buy it. She bought it for $200. She places it on her front door just because something happened. Now, 20 years earlier, her house was broken into, and, you know, then this bunny mask or something, and she heard everything happen, and she's been scared for her life. So even though they moved into this gated community, she still wants to feel safe, so she buys this camera. Things start happening. Uh, while she's at home working from home because she makes her own jewelry, and while her husband Bryce is at work, she gets a notification that there's motion at the door. She opens it and it's an old man standing there at the door. She's like, who are you? What do you want? You know, and it's like, I need to see you. And it's like, whoa, what's happening? What's going on? She calls the cops. They come. And then the neighbor kind of has like a, he himself has a you know, security system that's pointed at their house. and But nothing is shown. Bryce thinks it's a prank. It's fine. Whatever. They move on. Jocelyn sees this man again. Like, what do you want? What's going on? And so basically, Jocelyn tells a story to her husband, Bryce, where she says that this man reminds me of a janitor I had when I went to school. His name was Mr. Hendricks. He was, you know, just long hair, straggly. And I always used to say hi, good morning to him. You look nice. And he always used to stare at her, give her notes like, my sweet Jocelyn, you know, do certain things. And all of a sudden, it just stopped. He just disappeared. And she doesn't understand why. So then she goes to Mrs. Hendrick's house, and she's greeted by Mrs. Hendrick's sister. I mean, his sister hasn't seen him in, for a long time. And so she goes back home, and then she sees Mr. Hendrick's again. She basically opens the door and lets Mr. Hendrick's in. As she lets him in, she gets this gust of wind like this you could see like someone's walking through her and she turns around as mr hendrix is standing next to the desk where she works where she does her uh, homemade jewelry and basically mr hendrix is there saying he's apologizing for being the way he was toward her when she was younger he's like that's all i wanted i just wanted to say i'm sorry i didn't mean what i meant i know it was hard for you in this and then she reciprocates it back where she says to mr hendrix like i'm sorry too because, you know, I just say I want to be nice to you and everything and all that. And Mr. Hendricks kind of like starts bleeding from the eyes. And then he just disintegrates into ash and vanishes. All the while, we see Jocelyn in the next scene watching a news clipping where a missing person is identified as Mr. Hendricks. Body found in the lake evidently committed suicide. So basically he was just there to, you know, say his goodbye and get that one final you know, uh, message to her and saying that he was sorry. So then, Bryce comes home, the husband, Max Greenfield, he does it, all of a sudden there's another person at the door, and this is the ghost of Mary Jean. All Bryce's face lights up, he's like, what is the, what's happening? He takes the, takes the aura off the door, throws it in the trash, but then, Jocelyn puts it back up, and does her research and everything, and she finds the truth that Bryce was married before, and something happened between Bryce and his ex-wife, and why she's a ghost now. The aspect of everything, how it unravels in this episode, is absolutely phenomenal beyond words. The aspect of knowing that this smart security device, or a security system, camera, does this. We have these in our homes today, with Echo, Alexa, Google, whatever. Hey, Google, uh, Alexa, find this. Uh, whatever it is, the security systems, like you can tap into someone else's living room and watch what they're doing. It's insane how that works. And basically this aura is a conduit 
two ghosts to another realm, or they call it in this episode the Quantum Realm, which was really interesting because Quantum Realm has been used many times in other aspects of pop culture, and I was really surprised that it was used in this episode. So once that happens, we understand Bryce's story. That whole thing unravels. I'm not going to give away what happened, but it's a great twist. It's really surprising. And three months later, Jocelyn moves into a new apartment. And that has an aura installed already because it comes with the apartment. And then things start happening to her again. But it's a different ghost who is going after her. Because this ghost is angry. This episode was really fun because... The pacing was good. The acting by Gabrielle Sudebe was fantastic. She plays the victim of being distressed really, really well. I mean, having her in an American horror franchise is really, really great. I feel like we haven't seen her in a long time since Coven. And even though she's sporadically showed up in other seasons as other characters, it was good to see her in this. I want to see more of her in these American Horror Story or American Horror Stories because she's really, really good. And then Max Greenfield on top of that, fantastic. These first two episodes of season two are absolutely amazing. Definitely better than the first two episodes of season one so far. Season two is really, really good. Now, I do want to say that at the end of my episode one review I did of Dollhouse, Last week, I did mention that this week's episode was Necro, but it's not. It wasn't. And I do apologize for that because evidently the release schedule is now different. Uh, they're doing different ways of how they're releasing these episodes, and I'm not too sure what episode Necro is going to be. This is an eight-episode second season, and the season finale of season two, uh, the season two finale, is September 8th, 2022. So it's going to be really interesting to see what happens Mandy Cotto writes an episode of American Horror Story or American Horror Stories. It's going to be good. This was even better, I want to say, than the first episode. Even though the first episode had that nice little twist to it. This was a nice story based on home security systems and based on how ghosts, you see things and what your eyes can't see because ghosts do communicate through a camera, cell phone, lights, EVPs, you name it, it does that. And this was a nice touch. Wasn't too scary, it was different, but it was more so psychological. I do like the psychological aspect of horror stories, especially this one. It was absolutely great. And I'm curious to see what happens in the next episode of American Horror Stories. Let me know in the comment section below what you thought about it. Season two, episode two of American Horror Stories titled Aura. Did you like it? Did you not like it? What did you think of it? What did you think about the acting, the storytelling, and did you like that twist ending and the actuality of what can happen now. And do you see this kind of story of Aura coming back later on in a future episode for that matter? And did you like Gabriel Sidibe in this episode? And what do you think could have been done differently with this episode? Or do you think it's just, just right? And do you enjoy Manny Cotto's writing? Because like I said, whenever he writes an episode of American Horror Story or Stories, it's always good and fantastic so let me know in the comment section below about the questions i just asked and i'll see you all in the next review video and be sure you tune in next week for my episode three review of american horror stories <laughs>